Let's talk a little EA Sports College Football 25. I don't know if you know this, Jordan, uh, but there's a long-awaited video game coming out really, really soon. Um, and I'm sure you're excited about it. I know I'm excited about it. I'm sure there's a ton of people in the comment section uh, that are excited about it as well. I think it goes live on July 19th. July 19th. When the game goes live, it's obviously available for pre-order now. Um, and Clemson will be obviously one of the premier programs, according to uh, yours truly, uh, in the game. Probably the most premier program. Uh, they got the best uniforms. They look the best, you know, oh, so yeah. on and so forth. Best stadium, you know, all that stuff. Uh, if you don't agree with me, it's okay. You're wrong, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> but there's been trailers, Jordan, come out. Um of Clemson in the game. There's been trailers of Death Valley come out, um, trailers of some of the gameplay. What are your thoughts on this college football 25 game? It is made by EA Sports. Is it going to be a recycled version of Madden? Is the gameplay going to look similar? How are they going to address NIL? How are they going to address the transfer portal? Um, Dynasty mode, all this kind of stuff. What are your thoughts um, what have you read? What are you most excited about for this game? Um, just overall in the game, but obviously more specifically our Clemson Tigers. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, just watching the trailer and and seeing like basically the first thing, uh, I mean, literally as you open, as the, the trailer opens, you hear uh, the C-L-E-M-S-O-N, um, you, you know, chant, you know, yeah. in the background. And then it cuts to that beautiful shot of, of Howard's Rock. Um right and death valley like it like that was that was really just surreal for me um and you know clemson was prominent i mean they were shown running down the hill later in the trailer um yeah they were definitely one of the more prominent um programs that were shown in in, in that trailer and so it was it was exciting um because and you can tell how much work that um that ea and and clemson themselves did to to make this come to life. i mean this is a game that's been in the works for you know a few years now you know, mm-hmm. uh, Clemson reportedly sent like seven thousand different pictures of of uh, Memorial Stadium, um, and and like of different angles so that they could create a a as you know real to life uh, model of the stadium as they possibly could. Um, and you know, they were Clemson. You know, during the the um, the showcase in Seattle. Um, they were one of the schools that was specifically commended for how thorough they were um, in, in uh, you know, in, in making sure that everything was represented. They sent like hundreds of sound bites of crowd of Clemson's crowd noise, the chants, um, the traditions. Um, they they made a they made a, a scale hill so that they could mocap the uh, motion capture, the uh, players running down the hill. <laughs> um, so that was that, that was really cool. That's and um, yeah, so I, I'm really excited for this game, man, because I think, you know, Clemson is going to be one of those schools that has I, I, I feel pretty good about it being done justice. I, I haven't gotten any confirmation on whether or not gathering at the Paul will be in it. It should be. I mean, they've yeah. the amount of detail I've heard they've been put they've put into this as far as getting these schools traditions right. It, it better be. And um, but. Uh, you know, from everything that I saw in the trailer and, uh, you know, the stuff that's kind of been leaked out. I think the game is going to be, I mean, at, at least from a um, a presentation and visual standpoint, I think it's going to be really, really cool. Now, gameplay, we'll see. It's, it is <laughs> EA. Um, and obviously, uh, the the depth of the Dynasty mode is one of, is probably my biggest, like, like the, that's one of the things that I really w- want to make sure that they get right because, Right. You know, people have been upset about Road to Glory and about it. Yeah, I think that they said it's only going to be like five, but you only be able to pick like five positions like in Madden, which, yeah, that kind of sucks. I think it was like quarterback, wide receiver, uh, linebacker, safety. And no, no, cornerback. I don't even think you can be safety, cornerback and running back. Yeah, um, probably, yeah. Um, and so, like, I was like, yeah, well, that kind of sucks. So I can't, I can't, I can't do a kicker Road to Glory if I want to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But, you know, even back when, you know, the original NCAA football games were coming out, I was always more of a dynasty guy. I love building programs. Like, I like 
the the road to glory mode it was it, it was fun for a little bit but then but the experience was kind of repetitive um so yeah. I, I wasn't really concerned about that but the dynasty mode like in the depth that they've kind of th that has been kind of leaked out about it about how they're going to handle um you know roster building and nil and and kind of mm -hmm. the overall dynamics of a program i, I think it you know it, it sounds like they put a lot of work into it now the execution remains to be seen but right. I'll, I'm still excited about the game. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy it anyway, even if. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's let's be honest. It could be a recycled version of Madden, and I would still buy it. There is zero chance that I'm not buying the college football uh, 2025 game. Like, there's zero chance that happens. I'm excited about it. You know, it it's exciting to finally see these tra trailers start coming out. Um it's encouraging, you know, kind of some of the stuff that you're talking about of the work that they've put in. Um, and I'm glad that Clemson put in all of that work themselves with getting them the all the pictures and the videos and all the things that they needed to properly portray Death Valley. Because, I mean, that's a historic place, man. If you've ever been to a night game in the Valley or, you know, a big game in the I mean, it's just it's different. I don't. Man. Different. I don't know how there's any NFL fans. Um, obviously, if you're an NFL fan over a college football fan, you've never been to a live big time college football game because the atmosphere is unmatched. I've been to NFL games. I've been to college games. They're not even close, dude. No. Like, not even close. Um, college football is an amazing sport, and I'm glad that they're trying to capture the traditions and, and really – you know, play to each individual school's, you know, take on how they do things, because that's what makes college football special, right? It's all the traditions. It's the pageantry. It's it's that kind of stuff that at least us diehard fans, you know, that's what we love about college football. I love watching Clemson run down the hill, right? Um, you know, I love gathering at the Paul, you know, all that, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, it, it, it means a lot. Howard's Rock, um, you know, all the storylines, you know, the, the name Death Valley and how that came to be and, you know, all, all the all the stuff that goes with each individual program, not just Clemson. But I'm glad that they're trying to capture that. Um, I did read an article. I guess they had a small group of, uh, I guess, a mix of reporters and YouTubers that got to go to EA headquarters and play the game for, I think, a three hour period of time. They got to have actual gameplay with, yep. you know, various teams. Um, they didn't get to do dynasty mode or uh, road to glory or anything like that. It was just the, the regular mode of just playing games. Um, but according to the guy that wrote the article, I can't even remember his name. I'd reference it if I could. Um, but he was saying that it was better than Madden. It was not just a recycled version of Madden. I hope he's correct. Uh, I hope he's not just trying to be nice because he got to play the game a little bit earlier than the rest of us. Um, but he said the um, the animations are much better. The tackling's a lot more realistic. Um, the running game is a lot more realistic when you're leaning forward and all, all sorts of stuff like that. So let's hope all that stuff holds true. Uh, but again, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to buy the game anyway. I cannot wait to play this game. Um, it's going to be so much fun. This is this is long overdue. We haven't had a college football game since 2014. Um, the college football community is starving for this game. This might break all the records. I don't know what the EA records are for video games um, and copies sold and, and money generated off of it. But this, I'm telling you, this college football game, it, it may just like break the mold when it comes yeah, to. As far uh, as their sports games are concerned, yeah, I, I could totally see this out breaking, yeah. like outselling anything they've ever put out from a from a sports game perspective, man, because they it, man. It's like you said, it's long overdue. And, yeah. you know, I, you know, at a certain point, it's like I can only go back and, and, you know, break, you know, just break out my old Xbox 360 and, and, and run NCAA 14 so many times before it's like, you know, okay, well, yeah, it's, you know, when's, when's the next thing? I love that game, but, you know, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, that, that might be the most played, you know, football game of all time. Uh, just because everybody's been recycling and playing it for, you know, the past 10 years, uh, just waiting on another college football game. But I guess silver lining uh, for all of us, 
I guess, college football purist, if you will, and, you know, liking the game, um, you know, some of the more traditional parts of college football. This is the one good thing that has come from NIL and the possible revenue sharing and all that kind of stuff. We, we At least we got a college football video game out of it. So yeah. uh, I guess it's not all bad. You got to hunt the good stuff. You got to look for the silver lining and things. Can't wait for this game to come out. It's going to be absolutely electric. I can't wait to, to you know, do dynasty mode with Clemson and, and try to build the program. And, man, it's going to be so much fun, dude. Um, I can't wait. Uh, I'm sure we'll be talking about it on here once the game finally comes out and we finally see the gameplay. We'll, you know, give our opinion on what we think of it and, and you know, how good the, the different modes are. And it'll it'll be a fun topic to talk about while we wait on fall camp and everything to kick off. Absolutely, man. And it's 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 just a cool thing for for the brand, you know, Clemson. And, and you know, they they were obviously I think they or the well, I mean, I, I know they were one of the tier one programs that um, that EA shelled out the most money to. Um, they kind of did it based off of, you know, the last decade and kind of your your AP poll finishes and all that. Um, but yeah. but Clemson obviously was put front and center. And, you know, the screenshot of of Cade under center, which is kind of funny, Cade being under center uh, against Georgia, that that was kind of circulating around Twitter. Um, and uh, uh, we didn't even mention the Walker Parks. I was about to say, we, we got a We got a bone to pick with EA. Real quick. We got a We got a bone to pick with EA. Yeah, I, they, we, they did before. everything beautifully, but except for <laughs> they did my boy Walker Park so yeah. bad in that trailer. Yeah, I, I was like, dirty, bro. I, I did a double take. I was like, is that that's that is a, a that is a double wide. Who who is that? <laughs> yo, yo, that looks like the offensive lineman that ate Walker Parks, dude. Yeah. Like, I don't even yo, why they gotta do our our boy Walker Parks like that, man? That is dirty. Of all the work that they put into Clemson Stadium and their atmosphere and all that stuff, man, Walker Parks looked like he's about 450 in that game. They did my man. If I was him, I'd be direct tweeting EA every single day until they fix that. Man, he, he looked he looked like a Big Mac away from a gastric bypass surgery, man. Like I I, I was like <laughs> Yes, this man looked straight off an episode of my six hundred pound life man, yeah. <laughs> with a football helmet on. I was like, what in the world? There ain't no way he was running down the hill. Yeah, no, no that's yeah, it, they rolled him down that hill. They didn't he didn't walk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shout out Walker Parks, man. I don't know why they did you dirty like that. Yeah. You don't deserve that. You're better than that. Uh, EA, do better. Do better, yeah, EA. Do better, EA. <laughs> Tell EA you need more on that uh, on that EA Sports video game check. Yeah, you yeah. No, they, I know. I hope they shout out. The, like, yeah, for the extra money, you, you got to pay like an extra extra thousand pound, a thousand dollars per pound you added on. Yeah, you got yeah, to. Like <laughs> if you did me dirty like that, you got to cough up some more money. That's That's unacceptable. <laughs> I, I don't know why they had to do a man like that that was messed up um but again uh can't wait to see uh the the game hopefully they got our boy walker parks fixed up by then you know hopefully yeah. he don't look like he's about 450 uh but either way you know maybe he'd be really good at run blocking you know we'll yeah. just <laughs> run up right uh <laughs> right up walker that run block better be 99 with that, yep. with that hand off to phil maffa right behind walker parks every single yeah. time that's a first down every single oh, time. Oh man, imagine running, imagine running counter and then and, and running into uh, pulling Walker Parks. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for whoever that is. <laughs> they ain't gonna make it, man. They ain't gonna make it. It's not gonna end well. It is not gonna end well for them, man. Uh, but yeah, we can't wait. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, shout out to EA, shout out to Clemson for doing their due diligence and trying to make EA's job as easy as possible to portray. Uh, the Clemson environment because it is truly the one the one of the most unique environments in college football. Um, I haven't been to all the super unique environments in college football, but I have been to Clemson several times for big games, and uh, that place is unmatched in my opinion. 